Okay, as a uh, further introduction to computer programming, uh, in particular computer programming with Xcode and Swift, uh, I want to run through a couple of uh, basics with you to uh, put you in the picture as to what happens when we create uh, computer code with a programming language, in this case with uh, either Objective-C or with Swift. Uh, just so you get a bit of an idea what happens uh, behind the computer screen. Now what we've got here on the screen at the moment is we have uh, as you can see what's called a bit and that's represented by either a zero or a one. Now you would know from uh, previous study in our computer courses that um, basically a, a digital device or a computer is either um, on or off and um, that's represented by either a zero or a one. And that's how we actually get computers to perform tasks, is by feeding through a whole series of these zeros and ones uh, through the machine. Um, you know, millions and billions and quadrillions of them uh, through the machine to uh, get it to perform tasks. Now, of course, for us, a machine code or bits and bytes all put together uh, in a collection really would be very difficult if not impossible to understand. What we've done here is we've got a bit here as a zero uh, or a one and we've got here as you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bits which represents a byte. Okay, so this particular byte would represent a um, uh, either a number or a symbol or a letter of the alphabet and we can see that in the next slide here um, where we have a series of characters um, here we've got numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the uppercase A, B, C, D, E and F and then we've got a plus uh, exclamation mark and we have a series of zeros and ones representing each of these characters. Okay, so we've got here uh, our eight um, zeros and ones representing the actual number zero. And we've got the number one represented by this series of bits put together as a byte. The number two this series of, um, of bits, number three, number four, number five, and so on. And you can see that each one changes. Um, there are variations, obviously, for each one, which represents the character um, that we understand to be either a number, a letter, uppercase or lowercase, or a symbol.